want my kid to have a better education. So does the state of New Mexico. The Public Education Department gave Albuquerque Public Schools a D for the second straight year. But many parents and students we spoke to... We're really happy with, uh, with the schools that our kids have gone to. ...don't agree with the low marks, though some say which school their kids attend makes a big difference. APS, it's splotchy, so you have to research your school, you have to know your kids, you have to talk to the teachers. I wasn't surprised overall that they got a D. You know, some, some schools are going to get far higher, some are going to get lower. One Albuquerque High School student told us he's seen a big change for the better. I didn't have the best teachers when I was younger. My senior year, I've had some pretty strong, well-educated teachers, and they know what they're doing. School board member Stephen Michael Cazada told us that the high turnover rate for superintendents has produced challenges for the district. They're terribly underpaid, and uh, they, there's great teachers who, de who deserve to be paid much more, much more, and it would attract... Uh, higher salaries would attract more and more teachers into the profession. APS's latest D is based on the average of school grades. The state takes into account test scores, attendance, and graduation rates. Last year, Albuquerque had 22 schools get A grades. This year, that number plunged to just 13. I'm not going to lie to you, a D is low. It's unacceptable. Actually, none of the largest school districts got an A grade. Here's how they stacked up in order. Rio Rancho and Farmington schools got a B. Both Roswell and Carlsbad got C's. And Santa Fe School District received a D. Back to you guys. Ski Santa Fe 